everyone, it's Sunday the 15th of May and it's 11.30 in the evening and in this video I'm going to be showing you a bicycle that I purchased earlier this afternoon actually. Um, yep, I've been on Facebook Marketplace again and bought something. <laughs> um, yeah, bought myself another racing bike. Um, I do believe in a previous video, I don't know, a week or so ago, I think it was the carpet haul video. Pretty certain I showed you this that I bought. The Peugeot racing frame for 15 quid. Because it was a, a smaller frame, which is ideal for me, because I'm a short ass. Um, yeah, anyway, I got this other racing bike from the same person. Yeah, um, and also, I've actually sold my old racing bike. I sold that earlier in the week. Um, as much as I liked it, it was a great bike to ride. It was a bit big. And that is one problem I have, because I'm such a short ass. Trying to find a small frame road bike, especially on this vintage style, because that's what I actually like the most. I don't really like these modern ones. Um, I find it quite hard to find a small framed one. It seems like most of the ones they built back in the day were big frames, you know, like 23 inch frames and whatnot. Too big for me. <laughs> I can ride them. Um, the only problem is, well actually there's two problems. The first one is when I pedal, my legs literally stretch completely out. Sometimes I have to go on tiptoe depending on the frame on the pedals just to pedal it and of course to stop and to you know lean I have to slide off the seat onto the crossbar <laughs> um, yeah so when I saw that Peugeot frame I thought that's gonna be a great project you know I could just completely custom build it from scratch just like I did the um, Saracen mountain bike you know I could go on eBay and Amazon and pick the parts of one anyway not long after I bought that frame, the same chap put this road bike up. I'll show you it now. He put this up on Marketplace. Uh, so yeah, that, that's been on there for about three weeks actually. Same length of time, pretty much, um, that I've owned the Peugeot frame. Um, I'm surprised no one actually bought it because he actually put it up originally for 40 quid and then after two weeks dropped it to 30 and I kept thinking about it. it's one of the things where I just kept looking at it on marketplace and thinking about it and thinking about it and then I sold mine and I was like you know what I'm gonna go for it because it is a small frame so uh, and I own another one <laughs> <clears throat> um, pretty much arrived as is. I actually walked um, I walked up to go and get this because it wasn't that far away I don't know, about three quarters of a mile I rode it back I did have to put some air in the tyres uh, not too much because them tyres do need replacing that's about the only fault with it but uh, the brakes the gears, everything like that work I went through all the gears when I was riding at home, there was no slipping so I haven't got to worry about anything like that it also had um, like foot clip things fitted to the pedals. I'm just trying to find one to show you. It's disappeared. <laughs> that came with two and I can't find either one of them. Either that or I'm just going blind tonight. I haven't thrown it on the coffee table here, have I? No, just bike lights. Yeah, anyway, I've taken those off. I did try them out when I rode the bike home, but um, I just come to the conclusion that if you mostly ride a bike around a town like I do, those um, foot clips could be a complete pain in the backside because you you know you're constantly stopping at junctions and whatnot and having to put your foot down. So I just thought, yeah, they're going to probably be more of an annoyance than a help. I'm going to keep them though, because um, if I do decide to take up riding out and about in the countryside, which I would like to do, I'll put them back on, because for continuous pedalling they would be great for that. 
you know, if you're going to be riding for like, you know, two, three, four miles, whatever, without a break, then yeah, the um, foot clips would be great. I can't find them. I only had them here a little while ago. Oh well. I'll keep my eyes peeled while we talk about this and uh, if I see them I'll show you them. Ah, here it is. Here's one of them at least. That's all it is. It just, um, you take your pedal reflector off and just bolt this to the pedal. You use sticky toes in there. Very simple one, probably a very cheap one, but does the trick. Like I said, I'm going to keep them just in case I decide to put them back. So there it is. It's nothing special. It's not a high-end bike, not even for back in the day. Steel frame, steel back wheel. I'm pretty certain, I haven't put a magnet on it yet, but I'm pretty certain that front rim is aluminium. There's an alloy rim. But, uh, like I said, the brakes and gears all work absolutely fine. Um, it's an Apollo Europa Sport. I think they were just trying to be fancy with their name. <laughs> like I said, it's nothing special. But I'm not the sort of person that like special or high-end stuff, you know. This does its job. It's very clean and tidy. Apparently it's been stored in a shed for a number of years. Um, chap said, you know, he just he didn't ride it because it was too small for him. So, um, actually I think the only other aluminium piece I can see on this, or alloy piece I should say, is the um, quill. The quill stem. Um, oh, no, this baggage rack is. I'm going to take the baggage rack off because I don't need it on there. I was going to leave it on there and I was going to put dynamo light on the back of it and the dynamo light on the front and whatnot. And the more I thought about it, I thought, nah, let's take the baggage rack off and I'll find some um, old school lights, battery lights to um, put on it. I'm sure I've got something in the shed. In fact, I'm spoiled for choice in the shed, to be honest. Um, he did put the seat down for me so I can actually ride at home. Except, I put it down too low. <laughs> I put it all the way down, a wee bit too low. Um, in fact, I could probably go up just a smidge, but I'm on tiptoe where that is now, so that's good enough, I think. Um, overall condition, it's actually pretty clean. There's a few, um, you know, usual dings in the paintwork that you'd expect for an aged bike. But to be in it honest, that's very minimal on this bike. There is not a lot of that at all. Can't see no rust. There was actually a very tiny amount of pitting on that um, foot clip I just showed you, but that seems to be about it. Maybe a bit. There's a bit on the brake calipers because um, they're steel. You know, again, Apollo is one of those brands that. Um, would be considered a budget bike over here, you know, budget friendly bike. So it was, <laughs> they're built to be cheap. <clears throat> but uh, bottom bracket down here, that's all fine. Pedal spin, fine. There's no play in the wheel bearings, they're all fine. You know, for a budget bike, I can't fault it. So I'm happy with it. There's something stamped in this handlebar, so I'm actually wondering if that's original or not. I think it is because that looks like steel. S. S something on the handlebar. If I can read it, I'll put it down in the description. <clears throat> I think the only bit I'm not really keen on is this shade of blue. I actually wish it was this shade of blue all over. Because I actually quite like this one. This shade. So it's not keen on this one, but yeah, it's only a minor thing. I can live with that. And it's got a little gadget on it. I don't think you'll see it from there, but down here is a mileometer. Yep, so you do have to put up with a little click as you're riding it. It actually took me um, a couple of minutes to realise what the click was when I was riding at home. But yeah, <clears throat> to tell you how many miles you've done. I don't know how you reset it though. There must be a way to do it. Um, I suppose the only way I could possibly do it would be 
spin the wheel. <laughs> Turn it upside down and just, you know, spin the wheel and wind it backwards. We'll just leave it as it is. And just take note of what it says and then I can just add whatever miles I've done on it to it, can't I? <clears throat> uh, <laughs> this is actually a seat cover. It's definitely seen better days, as you can probably see. Um, used to be a pattern on it, but that is, believe it or not, better than the actual seat. Yeah, I think that used to be white at some point in its life. Um, yeah, that's not very white anymore, so we'll, we'll put that back over there and we'll just pretend that doesn't exist. So yeah, I'm going to leave mud guards on. For now, although I wouldn't mind putting the little stubby short ones on, just because I like the look at those, you know, the old vintage short ones. Or I might save those and put the short ones on the Peugeot project, because <clears throat> I'm still going ahead with that one. But I've decided what I might do is actually do a hybrid build for that one. So I'll put a straight bar in for the handlebar rather than a drop bar. Dunno, what do you guys think? Or should I just build another road bike with the Peugeot? Hmm. Choices. I do need to um, loosen the steer tube a bit. That's a bit too tight. <laughs> it should uh, move a bit more freer, freely than that. It's just this bit that needs backing off a little bit. Let's back off the lock nut and then back off the cone. It's for a steel frame, it's not actually that heavy. <clears throat> it's not a cog. I don't know, I've only just realised I thought this had a cog crank on it, but it's not. Just your ordinary tapered crank, which is good. I don't like cog cranks because they're a pain in the friggin' bum to get off. Especially if you can't get your car pin out. Oh good, this one's got the same style of crank. I just think my rally had the same style of crank as well. Anywho. Um, yeah, I can't think of anything else to mention. It's a bike. <laughs> it rides. Um, maybe when I've got the Peugeot done, I might sell this one on. But, uh, yeah. Tomorrow's job is to go down to the shed and see if I can find some battery lights to put on it. One of the issues I'm going to have is um, these rear seat stays because they're such a thin tube trying to find um, a bracket that will clamp onto that nicely might be a bit difficult. So uh, yeah I'm not quite sure. I might even take mud guards off actually. See how I feel tomorrow. Because to be honest, I'm not sure I'd actually ride this bike in the wet that often anyway. So I don't know. I'll um, I'll cross that bridge tomorrow when I take the baggage rack off. I think this is actually a vintage one. Possibly. Come on. Oh, I see. I was wondering, how, do, how was that actually bolted to that? <laughs> there's actually a bracket. There's two bolts at the top here. But there's no plate or anything in here for it to bolt to. So they've actually... I don't know if it is an actual bracket for it. It actually looks like it, to be honest. Purpose-built bracket. It's quite sturdy, to be honest. Yeah. I actually want to go for another ride on it, but I've got no lights on and it's dark and it's late and probably getting a bit cooler outside now. <clears throat> and um, I don't know if anyone noticed, but I have got a cycle shirt on. That wasn't intentional for the video, I've actually been wearing it all day. <laughs> so, I think this is one my sister got me for Christmas, actually. 
There is three bikes, but the middle one is probably not going to show up. It looks like a black outline. It might. Yeah, you can just about see it. See, and there's a third one. Right on me bump. People used to joke about that years ago. When's it due? And I used to go, oh, not yet. <laughs> hey, I'd rather play along with the joke than, you know, go off and sulk about it, so. Right, anyway, I'm going to end the video here, so thanks a lot for watching, everyone. I suppose stay tuned for further updates, maybe, if I have anything to update you on these. I'll do a build series on the Peugeot, at least. So I think that would be quite interesting. I suppose I better dig the work stand out the shed as well if I'm going to work on that Peugeot. Oh, actually, that can wait until I've got the parts. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching, everyone. I will talk to you again in the next video. Bye.